Have you ever been hurt by someone? If not, then you're a rare creature because I think many of us have been hurt plenty of times by other people. And what do we do? How do we deal with that? Well, I think for the most part what we do is we get angry. But being angry, how does that, how does that help us? You know, we might hold on to a grudge, to these feelings of resentment. You know, it might give us just a sour taste in our mouth just to hear the name of that person who has hurt us. And we do it because we want to hurt them back. We want them to feel the pain as they have hurt us. That's exactly what's going on in today's reading from chapter 18 of Job. We hear from Bildad once again. And Bildad says some, some one line that really stood out to me, very powerful imagery. He says, You who tear yourself in your anger, shall the earth be neglected on your account, or the rock be moved out of its place? It's such powerful imagery. You know, being angry at someone doesn't hurt them at all. In fact, most of the time when we're holding on to those feelings of resentment, they don't even know. And even if they do know, they don't care. They've already moved on with their life. You're the one that's tearing yourself up inside by holding on to that anger. Although we try to, to hold on to that anger with the hopes it's going to hurt them, it doesn't affect them at all. Your enemy, the person who hurt you or, or whoever has caused you this pain, the person that you're trying to, to, to hurt back with, with this uh, feelings of anger, doesn't affect them in any way. All it does is fuel the fire of your anger. And being angry is not going to help you get back at the person who hurt you. Bildad asks a very important question. He says, Shall the earth be neglected on your account or the rock be moved out of its place? No, of course not. He's saying that what the anger that you have is not going to affect anything. The world will continue spinning, right? So we have this other line from St. Paul in Ephesians. He says, be angry, but do not sin. Do not let the sun set on your anger, and do not leave room for the devil. Some translations say, do not give the devil a foothold. The point here is that by being angry, by holding on to that anger, by failing to forgive... You allow the door to be opened to the enemy to come into your life and to wreak havoc. That's what he loves to do. And he's a sneaky little guy. The devil wants to come into your life. He wants to mess things up. He wants to destroy you from the inside out. And you, by being angry, by failing to forgive those who have hurt you, you give him free access to your heart. And that's exactly what he wants. And what progress do you think the devil wants to make in your life? He doesn't want anything good for you. He wants to destroy you from the inside out, and he'll do it without you ever noticing it. So close the door on him. Because in the end, the only effect it's going to have is your own self-destruction. I'm Ricky Jones of Leaders That Follow. Have a blessed day.